is Mrs. Cersei, and I have one of my daughters here. Can you tell me your name? Olivia. And what grade are you in, Olivia? First. Yeah, how old are you? Seven. Seven, so we brought you our story, Elmer. It's by David McKee. And if you look on the cover on the front here, you can see there's an animal camouflaged. It's an elephant, it's kind of hard to see. Elephants are normally not rainbow colored like this. But we're gonna learn a pretty cool lesson in this story. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall and short, fat and thin. All were different, but all were happy, and almost all were the same color. What color are they, Olivia? Well, they all look like a bluish gray. They are a bluish gray, very good. All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. He sounds like a pretty fun guy to be around. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laughed at me. He sounds pretty sad. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped away. I wonder where he's going to go. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. What kind of animals did he see? He saw a lion and a tiger, a hippo and a Zebra. A zebra. Giraffe. Crocodile. Very good. Yeah, he saw lots of animals on his way. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for. A large bush covered with elephant-covered berries. I'm sorry, elephant-colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until all the berries fell on the ground. I wonder what he's going to do with all of those gray berries. Maybe he's hungry. Do you think he's going to eat them? We'll have to see. Then Elmer lay down and rolled over on the berries, this way and that. He picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. That sounds pretty messy to Mrs. Cersei. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue, or green, or black, or white. Elmer looked like any other elephant. Do you remember what color you said elephants were? Bluish gray. Bluish grayish, let's see what Elmer looks like. Oh my goodness, there he is. On his way back through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the other animals, elephants joined, noticed him. He looks just like everybody else. Where is he? I don't know. Which one do you think he is? I think he probably might. I think he's this one. You think he's that one? I think maybe this one with the eyes open looking at everyone. I don't know though. They all look the same. As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was wrong, but what? He looked around, same old jungle, same old blue sky, same old rain cloud, same old elephants. What had changed? I think they're probably looking for Elmer. You think they're missing Elmer? They like don't know where he is. Yeah, he's the only one that changed, didn't he? The other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he couldn't bear it any longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! <laughs> 
The other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the others began to laugh too. Too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. But we know Elmer's there, right? And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant as Elmer was washed back to normal. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What will we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another. The day of Elmer's best joke. All of us Elmers, all of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, says a third. And Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white and have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade who is ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. The end. Boys and girls, this story taught me something. We are each individual and unique. And this story taught me that it's best to be yourself. That is the very best that you can be. I hope you guys have a great day and have a nice weekend. And we'll see you soon.